Today I'm going to be discussing five ways that KiwiSaver can help you buy your first home here in New Zealand. So first of all, what is KiwiSaver? It is a voluntary investment and saving scheme to help you save for your retirement. KiwiSaver is for all New Zealand citizens or permanent residents normally living in New Zealand. You get automatically enrolled into KiwiSaver if you're eligible when you start work with a new employer and you're between the ages of 18 and 65 years old. The beauty of KiwiSaver is that you can also withdraw it to use towards your deposit to buy your first home as long as you've been in it for three years and are eligible and meet the eligibility criteria. So the first way that KiwiSaver can help you buy your first home is that savings are automated. You can make the minimum contribution of 3% or you can opt to increase this to 4%, 6%, 8% or 10%. Your KiwiSaver contribution is taken out before your pay hits your bank account so you don't even get a chance to see the money or miss the money. This is a great way to build your deposit and lock those savings away rather than putting them into a savings account. If you have that savings in a savings account, you have access to it and you can be tempted to dip into it and withdraw it. With KiwiSaver, this is not an option because it's locked away until you can withdraw it. The more you choose to contribute, the faster your deposit can grow and in turn, the faster you can get into your first home. KiwiSaver also offers the option to make voluntary contributions, which can help build your deposit even faster. The second way that your KiwiSaver can help you into your first home is if you are an employee. Your employer will make a minimum compulsory contribution of 3% to your KiwiSaver balance unless they're already contributing to another superannuation fund for their employees. With your employer contributing 3% on top of your contributions, this is a great way to get some free money and help your KiwiSaver balance grow and in turn, your first home deposit grow and help you get into your first home faster. The third way that your KiwiSaver can help you get into your first home is by taking advantage of the government contribution. So what is the government contribution? It is an annual contribution that the government puts into your KiwiSaver to reward you for saving. For every $1 that you put into your KiwiSaver account, the government will put in 50 cents up to a maximum of $521.43. This is free money available to you every year just for saving. To ensure that you're eligible for the government contribution, it pays to check your KiwiSaver balance and your contributions that you've made over that year to ensure you've reached the right amount to take advantage of the maximum amount that the government can put in. You may check your contributions and find that you need to make a voluntary contribution so that you can receive the maximum amount that the government can give to you. So basically, in other words, you need to make sure you've contributed $1,042.86 every year to get that free $521.43 from the government every year. The fourth way that KiwiSaver can help you get into your first home is by receiving the first home grant. You can apply for the first home grant for your first house after you've been contributing to KiwiSaver for three years. Depending on how long you've been contributing to KiwiSaver and what kind of property you're looking to purchase, you could be eligible to receive up to $10,000 from the first home grant. This is a huge chunk of money that you could use to put towards your deposit for your first home. The first home grant is administered by Kaing Aura Home and Communities. More information about the first home grant can be found on the Kaing Aura first home grant webpage. The fifth way your KiwiSaver can help you into your first home is by the compounding returns you can receive on your KiwiSaver balance. Your contributions, your employer contributions, and the government contributions can all earn returns on your KiwiSaver account. These returns are added back to your KiwiSaver account so that you can earn further returns in the future. The earlier you start saving, the bigger your investment can grow. Funds choice can play a really important part in the kind of returns you get. And also market fluctuations obviously play a part in the returns also. That's why it's really important that if you're looking to buy your first home that you speak to an advisor to ensure that your KiwiSaver is set up correctly so that you can reach your goals. If you'd like a free KiwiSaver session to discuss KiwiSaver further and ensure that your KiwiSaver is set up best for you to ensure that you're going to reach your first home goals or retirement goals, feel free to get in touch and we can book in a meeting. So to sum up the five ways that KiwiSaver can help you buy your first home. Number one, automated savings. Number two, your employer contribution. Number three, the government contribution. Number four, the first home grant. And number five is those compounding returns on your KiwiSaver balance. If you like this video, don't forget to have the thumbs up. And while you're there, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.